Today we'll be looking at the HP 3125 notebook. Um, it is either soon to be released or it is released now. I know it's very close. So um, actually today we will be looking at replacing the keyboard and I will show you how to do that right now. All right, so the first thing we want to do is actually remove the battery and what you want to do is take the slider and move it to the left and the battery will pop out like that. And also the slider releases this bottom tray. So you're going to pull this to the left. You might have to give it a little, little tap like that. And then it, actually you can see it separate from here. And you just pick the cover off. And that is pretty much it. So what you want to do is there's three screws on the bottom uh, that you need to uh, take out in order to take the keyboard out. But in order to get to the three screws, at least two of them, you have to remove these two pads. So what you want to do is take like a mini screwdriver and pop this rubber piece out and do the same thing to this side. Pop that piece out and now you have access to two screws, one here and one over here. And so it, you just these plastic pieces come off like that. And now you can actually get to the other two screws. There's one here, there's one in the middle. Right there and there's one on this side and it has a little keyboard emblem if you guys can see that see that little emblem it tells you that that's for the keyboard so what you want to do is remove these three so there's one two and three right. and the keyboard comes out um, you just take take your fingernail put a little pressure under there and then you can use a credit card or I use this little screwdriver and it just pops out as these little metal tabs it comes right out and now you have the ribbon in order to get that out of there you just take your fingernail and you flip that black plastic piece up and then it comes right out now that we have our new keyboard um, what we want to do is put the ribbon cable back in first so you want to make sure that black plastic tab is flipped up and you line those two side tabs which is tough to see in there. Make sure those tabs are lined up, and then when you clamp this bar down, it should line up with this white line, which it does. So now that your keyboard is in, um, you want to start at the bottom, and kind of push it into the bottom, and then you work your way all the way around. And you should hear it snapping. There's your new keyboard, and we need to assemble, not assemble, but actually uh, screw in the three screws on the back. So what you want to do is uh, start here on the left or right, it doesn't really matter, and put them in the three spots that actually have that keyboard um, picture, icon, oh wait, I'm sorry, wait, an icon. Okay, um, now that that's on, we want to actually put our corner pieces back on so they just fit just like that. There's one hidden in the second corner piece. Like that. And you put the rubber tabs back on, and they actually have little holes, and there's actually a plastic peg that line up. So. You guys can probably figure that out. And now, put the bottom pan on. I just, you can kind of slide it together and you hear it click. And now, put it together. There's, there's three tabs, and you actually slide them in like that, and then it locks down. You guys. I've just replaced a keyboard on an HP 3125.